Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. In this video, I will be giving you guys my breakdown as well as my top six predictions for this weekend's Tampa Pro. Now, as far as big names, this is probably the most competitive competition we've had since the Arnold Classic and the Boston Pro earlier this year, taking nothing away from our Pro winners this season. Now, two guys we will be discussing heavily in this video that aren't on this list, Quentin Araya as well as Kamal L. Gardner. Also, rounding out my top six, I have Tim Budashim, Phil Klahar, Sog Chung Lee, as well as Akeem Williams. So we're going to break these guys down in no specific order. Now, three guys that don't make my top six but could potentially get there, Morgan Asty, Dorian Haywood, and Ann Wynn. Morgan comes in very, very conditioned. Dorian is usually in the top six in any show that he does. He's been struggling a bit this year, so I'm not sure. And Ann Wynn, incredible bodybuilder. Sometimes he struggles with the conditioning and he isn't the best from behind. But if any of these three guys nail it, they could potentially be in this top six. So the first guy we're going to start with is going to be Quentin Araya. Now his last show was actually the Toronto Pro where he placed a close second to Joel Thomas. But those pictures are very, very dark. So this is actually from the Romania Pro where he placed fifth behind Samson, Rafa, Beirut, Tabani. Incredible lineup. But Quentin is widely regarded as the future of bodybuilding and possibly the next Ronnie Coleman. If you ask anyone in the sport of bodybuilding who is the future, who has the potential to hold the Mr. Olympia title, you're probably going to hear Quentin Araya. You're probably going to hear Samson Dowda. These two guys are talked about very heavily. But is this weekend's Quentin's time to finally win a pro show or does he need a little bit more time? Definitely has incredible shape. He's going to bring his best package to date. Quentin has been slowly improving. And something I like about Quentin, even though he knows everyone is doing the show, you know, Akeem Williams, Kamal L. Gardner, he's focused on himself and he 100% believes he can win. Can Quentin win this show? It is very possible. Now, the next guy we're going to talk about is going to be Sol Chung Lee. Sol Chung Lee's most recent placing was second at the Monster Zim Pro behind Mohamed Nasur, but he was able to be out Cebu C. Sukatello. Now, Sol Chung Lee actually placed 12th at the 2020 Mr. Olympia, so he has been on that Mr. Olympia stage. This guy has an incredible physique. He just doesn't have the best ab structure, and he never really brings the best conditioning. Outside of the ab structure, I believe if Sol Chung Lee comes in peeled, he can definitely beat some guys. And the next guy we're going to talk about is going to be Phil Klahar, who is coming off a third place placing at the Orlando Pro. Now, Phil Kulahar shocked the world last year when he was placing second at Tampa behind Ian Valier. Some people thought it was very close, and he was in that top three with Ian and Steve in Texas. And a lot of people said, you know, you could have flipped a coin. That show could have went either way. Now, he did come into this year's Boston Pro. Not really the best showing. I believe he came in a bit heavy. Orlando, he came in a lot more conditioned, but I think he sacrificed a bit of size. As you guys can see in the side chest, this guy has crazy roundness in the chest, the delts, and the arms. But I think he needs a little bit more thickness to be comparable. Now, I did hear on a podcast that he did this may possibly be his last year competing. If not this year, probably going to be next year. But Phil Klahar is an incredible physique, and he's about 48, maybe 49. Still bringing an incredible package, and he definitely was improved from the Boston Pro. And next, we're going to talk about Akeem Williams. So, Akeem Williams is the highest-ranked men's open bodybuilder in this competition. Akeem placed sixth at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Top 6 Olympian is incredible any year. That's an incredible feat. And hopefully Akeem can get back there. In all honesty, I believe Akeem is a guy that could potentially win the Mr. Olympia. He just doesn't really bring the best conditioning. And even when Akeem does come in condition, it's like his back doesn't get dry. And the pictures you guys are looking at here are from last year's Puerto Rico Pro, which he won. He won into last year's Olympian place ninth. I believe he was significantly better at Puerto Rico. But Akeem is going to be the biggest guy on this stage, man. He's going to be very, very hard for anyone to beat. And the next guy we're going to talk about is Tim Budashim. Now, Tim is coming off a fourth place placing at the Chicago Pro. Definitely improved from Portugal, you know. I'm glad I see Tim competing a lot more. And going forward, I think this is really going to help him out a lot. This guy comes in very, very conditioned. He definitely has enough size. Arguably had the best front last spread in Chicago. Tim just needs to bring the back up. You know, I'm glad that he's getting his name out this year. Probably going to need a good offseason, bring the back up a little bit. And next year, he's probably going to be extremely, extremely competitive. So the last guy we're going to talk about, but definitely not least, is going to be Kamal L. Gardner, our 2019-212 Olympia champion. Now, Kamal is probably going to be the most detailed, the most muscle mature, the most conditioned guy on this stage. 
Only thing that could potentially hold him back is size. Now, Kamala did say he's going to be around 220, maybe even up to 225. You know, he said he was around 223, 224, and he was looking very, very conditioned. I believe he's going to stack up well, but it's just going to be a thing of, is he going to get out muscle? Kamal has everything that he needs, and from behind, he's going to be very, very hard for anyone to beat. So in sixth place, I have Sol Chung Lee. And in all honesty, I was tempted to place him higher than this, and I feel like he can place his highest fourth in this lineup. As I told you guys, he doesn't have the best ab structure, but honestly, if this guy comes in peeled, his shape is just insane, guys. Look at the thickness in the upper body as well as the quads. He's a lot more muscular than some of these guys in this lineup. And if he's peeled to the bone, he can definitely move up. And in fifth place, I have Phil Kalahar. Now, some of you guys may be upset with me for putting Phil in fifth. But in all honesty, Phil has one of the best backs in this lineup. You know, probably going to be right up there with Kamal. But outside of the two back shots, the guys in this lineup are going to make it very, very hard for Phil in the front shots as well as the side. From the front, he doesn't really have the best abs, you know. And from the side... He looks good, he's round, he's 3D, but he just doesn't really have enough size. So Phil may dominate these guys from behind, but everywhere else, I think he's going to have a very, very hard time. And in fourth place, I have Tim Budashim. Now, something I heard recently, apparently Tim has never been outside of the top five in any show that he's done. Now, as I just mentioned with Phil Klahar, Tim Budashim is the opposite. He doesn't have the best back, but everywhere else, you know, he's going to be very, very hard to beat. And the back poses are only two shots. So I feel like Tim Budashin versus Phil Klahar, those guys are going to be very, very close. And if Tim comes in a bit off with conditioning, you know Phil Klahar could jump ahead. But in all honesty, if Sol Chung Lee comes in peeled, I believe he can hop over both of these guys. And in third place, I have Quentin Araya. Now, for the longest, I had him in second. You know, I may have even wanted to be bold and put him in first. Quinn has an incredible physique. Quint against Kamal and Akeem, you know, Kamal has more muscle maturity. Akeem Williams is just a lot bigger. You guys already know who the top two are, but Quint could probably place his highest. Quint could possibly win this show. It's possible that he can win this show. But these guys both capitalize on two of his weakest points, which is the muscle maturity and the mass. But Quint is definitely going to have a great showing. And man, I hope he can pull out the win, honestly. I would be more than happy. And in second place, I have Kamal El Gardner. Now, this was very, very close. Kamal could very possibly win this show. And I'll let you guys know right now, if Akeem comes in a hair off, very, very possibly that he loses this show to Kamal El Gardner. From behind, Kamal is probably going to beat everyone on the stage, you know, except Phil Klahar. You know, Phil Klahar has pretty much about the same level of detail and muscle maturity and also has a bit more size. But everywhere else is going to be hard for Kamal because he could possibly get outsized by a guy like Akeem Williams. Even Quinn Beastwood, except from behind, I believe Quinn Beastwood can go head to head with Kamal in every shot. But Kamal has that muscle maturity and that conditioning that Quinn just doesn't seem to have yet. But let me know in the comment section below a little early, guys. Where do you guys have Kamal? Can Kamal win this show? You know, is he a lock for you guys to win? Is he a lock for second? Can Quinn Araya beat him? And winning this show, I have Akeem Williams. And Akeem would pretty much be 100% locked to win this show. But unfortunately, as history has shown us, Akeem hasn't always been consistent with his conditioning. But he is working with Justin Miller, who was the former coach of George Peterson. And as you guys know, George used to come in peeled. So hopefully this same formula or he's able to get a new formula with Akeem that helps him be able to peak properly. Because I still don't think we've seen a 100% version of Akeem. Even Akeem placing top six at the O, that wasn't 100%. You know, Akeem has one of the best side legs in bodybuilding history. You know, probably one of the only guys that can match up with Big Rami in this side leg. Maybe not beat him, but you know, match up. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below. You know, are my predictions crazy? Is Phil Klahar too low? Can Quinn Beastwood win this show? I'm Christian from Go Fitness, and this is it. I'm out.